and electricity fills the air around him on the arcane circle underneath him, and he disappears in a bright, uh, bright light. Wait! I want to ask you <laughs> Wait! Stop! Don't Wait. show! <laughs> He's gone. Oh! <laughs> I still say we love all this place. Mood Whiplash! I don't know if we can take that chance, though. Well, it's either... Look, there are party members, but it's either Gregor Dozer or Colin Grove. Yeah, well, I'll keep that in mind next time we have a chance to save you, Johnny, you dick! <laughs> Where do you need to save him from? He's made of fucking adamantium. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm thinking of the bigger picture. I can't risk them. I'm sorry. <sighs> tick tock, tick tock, friends <laughs> are dying, Colin, Colin Grove's burning, tick tock. I'll just um, so. Back. That's where I'm work, or to Colling Grove. What? I'm gonna start heading back towards Colling Grove. Oh. So basically, what you're saying is, after all we've done, taking on, rushing around, going straight for Owain before we were ready to stop him attacking Colling Grove and Wormwick, and all this stuff we've just done over Ball and his family. Now you're gonna let the Demon Baron's troops just wipe everything out anyway. He has them. He has our friends. They're in no more danger than when we just charged into a fucking chain demon. We have no idea where they are. Do you smell them, Kathleen? I Disappointingly, no. This is just one risk I'm not willing to take, John. Again, I'm heading off towards Colling Grove now. I should not uh, head kind of hung in shame. I'm going to go and stop Kathleen, and just for the sake of grabbing the alchemical file, the last vial she's got, because there's two. I'm going straight inside to blow the fuck out of this place. I'm not... I'm, look, Greg and Doth are important to, the, to us, but... It's them versus the city. And they can handle themselves. I should note that Kathleen's not responding. She just looks very conflicted. Well, I'm taking the alchemical fire and I'm going to spread it liberally around the... Uh, around the orb. It's not like gasoline. It's kind of like fire that explodes on impact. Well, whatever. Lob it and run like fuck. <laughs> You lit the orb on fire. Congratulations. You get to knock it down. I thought it went boom. Okay, well, I'll weaken the supports then and then throw this crap. Whatever it takes to make it. It's gone. Whatever it takes to make it go boom. Everything's on fire. <laughs> you lit everything on fire. And now and now your friends are gone and you're saying fuck them. No, I'm not saying fuck them. I'm saying for the sake of an entire city. We'll find a way around and get and, and rescue them, but not now. And we can't leave this standing if it means um, Colin Grove goes down. Well, then I have to ask you, Gav, how do you intend on making Go Boom without you Go Boom too? Well, I was hoping the, the explodey fire stuff would do that, but apparently not. Well, it, it lights a fire. I mean, if you want to, you can get on top of the bill. You can put that, like, on top of where the orb is being hung from. That's what I was... Yeah. I should note you can't do that because everything else is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we need long-range attacks. Unfortunately, our two best long-range people are gone. John, not every battle can be a victory. I don't think we can overthrow the Demon Baron without them. So, okay, fine. We'll go back and we'll explain to Ned that 
we could have destroyed the source of the, you know the invading army's power, but we didn't think we could because two of our friends had been captured by them. Two people. Two people, one of which has the utility to bring down the force of the Demon Baron. We need... We need them. In the meantime, um... Greg and Dother, you guys uh, feel like you've been asleep for almost forever. Uh, you wake up, your eyes open, and you're in this, what appears to be camp in the middle of the desert. Um, your arms are tied to a pole, and uh, your equipment has been stripped of you. Uh, around the camp are just a bunch of tents, and you guys were left out in the sun, so you're, you're pretty burnt up right now. Um, you're just sort of sitting there in the in the sand. Uh, the camp itself, just a bunch of tents and uh, uh, what appear to be gnolls and demons just talking and working together. Uh, you can't really understand what they're saying. They don't seem to be speaking any uh, any common languages. <sighs> Look over to Dother and I just say, well... I like to. Th- I like to. Say, I, I want to say that I have been in worse situ. I have been in worse situations, but this is this is pretty high up there. I just hope the others are okay. If they wanted to kill, if they wanted to kill us, I think we'd be already dead. True. That means it's tor- that means it's torture. Yes. So get so get ready for it. Wouldn't be the first time. Really? Yeah. The more we learn about each other, mm. wouldn't be the first time. <sighs> Do you think well, that? I, hmm? Well, you're out in the sun, so I guess that you can't use your powers to become ins- insubstantial. And not until nightfall, at the very least. But even then, I. <laughs> you hear laughing coming from behind you. <laughs> Uh, uh, Night time you're waiting for, huh? Hmm? Do you think I'd let the man who stole the power from my number one warrior to ever see the night of the, the light of the moon again? Hmm? You think that sun's going down? At least around here it's not. <laughs> oh, you two are gonna burn, and you're gonna burn slowly. Uh, there's water for you, of course. Uh, we've hit it in. We, it's in a few of the tents. But, Shut uh, your mouth. I have no, my ears have no time to to hear your words. He punches you straight in the face. Eh, I'm going to be quiet when I want to be quiet. Now listen, Greg. I know you don't want to die. I don't want you to die. I don't want your family to die. What I want is that orb back. That orb was a source of great power for us, and you will give it back. So, how about it, Greg? Hmm. Let's see. Giving it back to you would involve me dying. So There's no guarantee that you would die. I mean, we have our ways of keeping people alive. Well, you obviously didn't have to do a good enough job keeping your number one man alive when he succumbed to the point where the orb didn't even want him anymore. I mean, ah, I- but that orb didn't want him for many a century, and we used him to our full advantage. And it wasn't until you disabled him enough to the point where the orb could be released from him that he was destroyed. Greg, you can either give us the orb, or we can make this very, very painful. You seem very interested in us, the fact that you know so many of our names. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. You destroyed one of our towers. That's no mean feat. Uh-huh. Felbrig did that once. We made sure they weren't going to do it again. Hmm. Now, about that orb... And from there, I think we're going to fade out to black. Uh, 